The Fish Care Programme, brought to you by Legacy, is focused on helping us fish -os reduce our impact on the marine environment, on the oceans and the sea life that we love so much. Fish Care has five principles, and the first principle is to target legal sized fish. The fewer small fish we catch, the less chance of harm. And when you're bait fishing, using larger hooks with larger baits will help you avoid catching undersized fish. Use non-offset circle hooks for bait fishing whenever possible. Circle hooks lip hook fish more often than J-hooks and give undersized fish a better chance of survival when released and handled with care. A study in the Hauraki Gulf found the survival rate of lip hook snapper was 90 to 95 percent when caught in depths of 14 to 20 metres of water. If you are using J-hooks, try 7 bar O or larger. The smaller J-hooks are not only more likely to catch undersized fish, but they're also more likely to gut hook fish. All right, so what we have here is um, an 8 bar O non-offset heavy gauge circle hook. Now I always use these when I'm fishing for kingfish. Uh, it allows the fish not to get hooked in the gut and hooked in the corner of the mouth nearly every single time. So it allows you to release those fish if you want to and if, obviously if they're undersized as well and it keeps them in prime condition. About a metre and a half of either 80 to sort of 120 pound litre onto a swivel with the sinker above it. Now that allows the bait to swim freely but it also means that if you get busted off that kingfish isn't going to be dragging around a sinker. Now if you haven't tried them, the Fish Care Programme recommends using the target appendage hooks because they're practically impossible for small fish to swallow. And they're also great for long lining or when you're using your rod and reel. So when you're bait fishing, fish actively. Hold your rod and reel, keep in touch with your bait, ready to set the hook once you get the bite. This way, smaller fish are less likely to swallow the hook. Now if you're using circle hooks, set the hook slowly by smoothly lifting the rod as the fish runs away. If you're fishing with sinkers, think about using a rig where the sinker will slide off if the fish busts you off. So if you are fishing with a ledger rig, use heavier lines so that it's less likely that the fish will bust you off. Avoid using stainless steel hooks because they take so long to rust out. If a fish escapes with a stainless steel hook in its mouth, it's not going to be able to feed and function properly. So if you're finding that you are catching lots of undersized fish, think about moving location or increasing your hook size or your lure size so that you're targeting legal sized fish. When you're choosing your tackle, think about the fight time. The shorter the fight time, the more likely it is the fish will survive when released. So when choosing your outfit, think about bringing the fish in relatively quickly. As Kiwis, we are so lucky to have this beautiful marine environment right on our doorsteps. And if we all play our part and all care, then our kids and our grandkids will thank us. Legacy wants to thank the following people for their help in producing this video and their ongoing support of Legacy.